Hello everyone, this is Kajim Hassan. Well, if you are new here, then I have to introduce myself as I have already told my name. Well, I have completed my graduation from Rajshri University of Engineering and Technology and I am a machine learning engineer at SA Limited and I am also a Kaggle competition expert. Well, these are about my, my side. Well, I usually make different machine learning, data science and data mining videos in my YouTube channel. So with continuing that legacy, I am starting a data mining series and this is the one of the video uh, of the data mining series. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So this is the second video of data mining series. In this series, we are going to talk about and learn about different types of data attributes. As we are work, working with data, so we must know different types of data attributes. Well, so let's talk about what is an attribute. Well, an attribute is a field which is represents a characteristics or feature of a data object. So there can be different types of attributes. In the next slides, we are going to talk about them. So let's move on. Well, as you can see, there are five types of data attributes as of now so let's talk about nominal attributes well nominal attributes are mostly related to names hair color occupation etc are known as or representing nominal attributes like if i ask you then what's your hair color then you can say that it's black or brown or gray or I, if I ask your occupation, then you may answer this in like this way that I'm a student, I'm a machine learning engineer, etc. So these are known as nominal attributes. Moving on, now the binary attributes. Well, we all know about binary numbers, 0 or 1, yes or no, positive or negative. So these types of data are known as binary data or binary attributes. Okay. So now... Let's come on the ordinal attribute. Well, the ordinal attribute means that they have a meaningful order or rank among the data sets. Like the drink size, it can be small, large, or extra large, etc. Or we can make an example like customer satisfaction, whether a customer can be dissatisfied, neutral, or very satisfied, like Twitter sentiment classification neutral positive or negative well i hope you understand the ordinal concept well now let's move on the numeric concepts well this is the mostly used one of the mostly used uh, attribute in your data science and machine learning field well numeric attributes are more like quantitative like we can measure the quantity well so then uh, those can be in two types like interval scales or ratio scaled well the interval scaled means that we are getting some data from a from a what can i say from a limited interval like the temperature data the time series data okay and the ratio scale data are like the ratio like i have uh, one is to three percent of this thing these are called the ratio scale data now moving on the discrete and the con continuous attributes. Well, the discrete attributes has a finite number of set values like all those hair color, occupation, etc. has a finite number of values. So those are known as discrete values. And the continuous values are continuous, you know. In practice, real values represented using a finite number of digits. And the continuous attributes are typically represented as floating points variables. So these are different points types of data attributes that we are uh, working with as of now. There are a lot of different data attributes available right now. Um, we will discuss about them in future. Well, so this is this was the second video of our data mining series. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it will motivate me to keep uh, making more videos like this. I hope this will help you in your exams. And there may, might be some questions or discuss about different types of attributes of data mining. 
I think you can able to answer them right now. So if you have any kind of query then please let me know in the comment box. I will answer them one by one and if you want to reach me out then you can follow me in my LinkedIn on Instagram on Facebook. So thank you everyone. Please stay home and stay safe.